<laughs> ah! Hello there, friends! My name is Dr. Samuel Higabiga Bigaby, but you can just call me Higbert. Hello, Higbert! Oh, 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 hello, everybody! I'm so excited to welcome you all to the Super Sibling Center! <laughs> Here, we teach kids to be the best big brothers and big sisters they can be. Ooh. Hey, there go some of them now. Come on, let's check and see what our super sibling friends are up to. Super Sibling Center, we enjoy teaching terrific techniques, marvelous methods, and all sorts of fantastical fun ways of being a super sibling. What's a sibling? Oh, good question. And I know exactly who should answer it. Our super duper, super sweet, super computer, Roo. Uh, ooh, which icon? There's <laughs> so many. Um, I'll try this one. <laughs> Woo! Oh, uh, it's fun, but not rude. Oh, it's my brother calling! <laughs> Hello, Hibbert! Yeah. I'm so glad you called! Yeah, it's my sis. Uh, listen, I can't talk right now, because I'm teaching the kids about siblings. Uh, bye! Oh, I think this is the one. Hello, Doctor. How may I help you today? Oh, hello there, Rue. Uh, could you please tell us what a sibling is? Of course. A sibling is a brother or sister. They can be older than you or younger. That's exactly right. And today, we'll be talking about having younger siblings. Siblings that will soon be born and become your little sisters or brothers. So, all you kids out there, are you ready to become super siblings? Yeah! <laughs> well, first, you have to learn the super sibling sign. And it goes like this. Put your right hand over your heart, then your left hand over your heart, and two thumbs up. Ooh, super sibling! Woohoo! Okay, let's begin. One super sibling friend made a special home video of their new baby sibling. Do you want to take a peek? Yes! <laughs> okay, Rue, show us the video, please. Of course, displaying video now. Hi, my name is Avery and this is my family. One day, Mommy and Daddy told me that we were going to have a baby. I'm going to tell you that Mom and I are going to have a baby. I was so happy. I always wanted to have a little brother or sister to play with. It was awesome that the baby was growing inside of Mom's tummy. It felt weird when I could feel the baby move. Daddy. She's really moving again, huh? I also liked going with my mom to visit the doctor. She was very nice. She made sure that Mommy and the baby were healthy. Perfect. I got to listen to her heartbeat. There's a lot to do to get ready for a new baby, like fixing up the baby room. We found some of my old baby clothes and toys. I said that the baby could have them. Which one's your favorite? I kind of like this one. Choosing a name was so much fun. There are a lot of names to choose from. Okay, what do you want the baby's name to be? Cupcake. Cup, cupcake? And this is the nurse's station where you can come. Mommy and Daddy took me to see the hospital. That's where my mom was going to have our baby. I saw a lot of doctors and nurses. One nurse showed us the special room that Mommy would be in after the baby is born. Maybe that's where the baby's going to sleep. It's so small. One day, my mom said it was time to have the baby, so I went and stayed with Aunt Ruthie. We played together and talked about the new baby. I was very excited. 
The next day, I went to the hospital with Dad to visit Mommy and my new baby sister, Julia. She was so small and cute. A lot changes when a new baby comes home. Mommy and Daddy were very busy with Julia. What do you think, Avery? I was a little lonely and bored because they were so busy with the baby. But Mommy told me that she and Daddy loved me a lot, and I felt better. We found some new things to do together with the baby. And Mommy said that sometimes we could play or do something with just the three of us. <laughs> Aww. This is my family now. That's me and my little sister. I love her a lot. I like being a super sibling. <laughs> that was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, babies are the best. <laughs> um, speaking of babies, it's time to learn all about your new baby sibling. Now, when your new baby sibling comes home, you'll see that babies really can't do that much. They can't talk or walk or even play. All they can do is... Eat! <laughs> <laughs> so, they may not be that much fun at first, but you just wait. Soon enough, they'll get bigger and you'll play the days away. <laughs> now, let's continue with a few more important things you need to know about babies. Baby face! So, what will your new baby sibling look like? Oh, that's easy. Like this. No, that's a baby monkey. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I meant like this. No, that's a baby bird. Oh, uh, one more try. <laughs> and like this. Yay! Super siblings know that babies can look a little, uh, well, um, like uh, that. But before you know it, they'll grow up and become super cute. Aru, can you tell us more? Newborn babies are very small. They may be bald, or they may have lots of hair. They have round, scrunched up faces and a big belly button. Oh, I love you, belly button. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, what's next? Ah. Baby touch. <laughs> Holding a baby takes some practice and should always be done with a grown-up's help. Super siblings know they need to have clean hands and be very gentle when holding a baby. Isn't that right, Rue? That's right, Doctor. It's very important to have clean hands when holding or touching a baby, so make sure to wash your hands with soap until they are clean. Nice job. Always be very gentle. That means no shaking, squeezing, or pinching. Also, never try to stand up and walk when holding the baby. You must always sit to hold him. And remember to hold his head up. Babies aren't strong enough to hold their own heads yet. Never try to pick up the baby or hold him without a grown-up around. Babies are little, and they can get hurt if you're not careful. And finally, hold the baby when you're in a calm and happy mood. Sometimes it's hard to be gentle if you're feeling mad, sad, or too excited. Super Sibling! I've been practicing. <laughs> you're such a cutie. A uh, bushy bushy. Mushy mushy. <laughs> you can practice with your stuffed animal too. Now, let's see here. Ah. Baby dog! Hola. Hola. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. Hola. Howdy. Oh, oh, oh konnichiwa. Oh, oh, hola. Oh, hola. Oh, hola. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they were all saying hello in different languages. Super siblings know that babies have their own language. It's true. For example, when a baby is really hungry, she'll say this. <coughs> or when she needs her diapers changed, she'll say... 
Or when she just wants some cuddles and love, she'll say... <laughs> so get ready to hear lots and lots of... <laughs> but don't worry, babies don't cry all the time. Sometimes they can also be calm and quiet. That's right. Babies don't cry all the time. They sleep a lot, too. Many babies have their days and nights mixed up, so they will sleep a lot during the day and wake up crying at night. When babies get a little older, they'll learn to sleep all night long, just like you. Mommy! And now, to my favorite subject, food! Mm -hmm. yum, 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 yum. Baby food! I'm just about to prepare the perfect baby meal on my cool Foodomatic. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, how about this? <gasps> Ooh. Now, that is what I call a meal. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Hey, that's not what babies eat. Really? Oh. Uh, Rue, I think I'm going to need a little help. What is the baby doing right now? Eating. Babies love breast milk because it's yummy and full of what they need to help them get big and strong. New babies eat many times every day because their tummies are so small. Babies can't eat big kid food because they don't have any teeth yet. So never give a baby any of your food or drinks. Super siblings know that babies can't eat big kid food. That's why I'm glad I'm not a baby, because I just love apples. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> baby helper! When the baby first comes home, your parents are going to need a lot of help. And guess who can come and save the day? Super Sibling! Rue, can you tell us some more? <laughs> Mommy, I think Weston's hungry. There are a lot of things you can do to help out and be a Super Sibling. Here you go, Mama. Thank you, Connie. You're such a good big sister. You can help keep the baby safe. Keep your toys picked up so no one trips when holding the baby. You can play with the baby. Remember to be gentle. Help push the stroller. Read to the baby. One, two, three. Or sometimes it can be as simple as smiling, talking, singing, kissing, or even dancing for the baby. Come on, kids. Let's do the baby dance. Okay, let's see here. We've talked about holding babies, feeding babies, what they look like, what they sound like, uh, how to help. Now, hmm, what's next? Aha! Let's talk about feelings. Feelings! You can have a lot of different feelings about having a new baby around. Sometimes you'll have sunny feelings, mm -hmm. like love or being happy or excited. But other times, you might have stormy feelings, like anger or being sad or, or lonely. Well, we asked some of our super sibling friends to tell us how they felt about having a new brother or sister. My favorite thing about my brother is I love his face. My least favorite thing is probably that they cry, poop, and sometimes pee on you. Don't press the head too hard because the head is very soft. You have to feed the baby. I don't like it when he pulls my hair. He's cute. You see, there are a lot of feelings you might have, and you might feel differently tomorrow than you do today. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody feels stormy feelings sometimes, but super siblings can change stormy feelings into sunny ones. Want to learn how? Yes! Oh, okay, Rube, show us what to do. 
The most important thing is not to let those stormy feelings get stuck inside. Let those feelings out. Talk to your parents or another grown-up you know and tell them how you feel. But well, the baby's getting enough of attention and I'm not. You feel like he's getting all the attention? Mm -hmm. oh, sometimes sometimes just share. saying it out loud will make you feel better. You want to play? Also, ask for what you need. You might need a hug or a little extra playtime with mom and dad. So remember, if you feel stormy inside, talk to your family, tell them how you feel, and ask for what you need. Soon, all those stormy feelings will turn sunny and bright. Thanks, Rue. And so, friends, our super sibling training has come to an end. But the joy of being a big brother or sister is just beginning. <gasps> Think of all the amazing things that are waiting for you. So much love and laughter, meals and adventures, hugs and kisses, and most important, being a family, together for a lifetime. So, are you ready? Yes! I'm sure you are! Go, go, Super Siblings! Woohoo! Super Siblings!